first of all, I'd like to start with having you all take a nice, deep, big breath. Wait, wait. This is my favorite part now. Ready, Chris? Now, that feels really good, doesn't it? Actually, most of us don't realize or appreciate how good that really feels to those that have had a lung transplant. I can assure you, it's the most exhilarating feeling and one not to be forgotten and certainly not to be taken for granted. You have to understand, he probably never had a normal breath for as long as he could remember. He was sick from, from childhood. So here at age 60 something, he gets all of a sudden the experience, what it is to take a breath. I mean, you, that's got to be uh, absolutely enlightening, you know, it's, and, but, but he, he is, uh, they are very generous, both of them, and, and very intelligent and very cognizant that all these things don't happen just by chance. There is, there is like a seemingly a purpose on these things. There is a, a larger purpose when these things happen. We're all confident that this wonderful new house of care will enhance the lives of many and would be a fitting tribute to the memory of Chris Gregory and where his generosity will continue for many years to come. We realized that before they got here, perhaps they've heard what might be the worst news of their life and most of them come here a little scared and unsure. Having worked over at Mayo and my background is oncology, I'm um, 18 years of nursing and oncology, and the time when I worked there, this, I don't even know if it was, this was a concept, and the need was there, people coming for world-renowned care, um, coming to where they felt was the best, and then struggling with, I can't afford to stay here, I can't afford to stay there. Um, so it's not just the economic impact, but it is the emotional um, impact and support that people get here. And it, it's been a need for a very, very long time. And to see it come to fruition is incredible. It never stops to amaze me how, how uh, strong the friendships are. They may not end up lasting a lifetime, but I think when they're formed, people feel they will last a lifetime, and I think some do. Uh, but they're very strong and they're very reliable in the sense that people can turn to each other. The, care, the um, doctors have asked Ed, you know, what, he, how he would feel about this new liver. It's a gift. It's life. And in and, and retrospect, I think that this house shows that life just, have, just by all of the people being here and all of the people being supportive and all of the people just asking every day, how's your day going? Is your day okay? How are you doing? And in that respect, it's just truly a gift every day. It's not just the physical, the physical grounds. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, it's like a hotel. It's a hotel. But there's a spirit here. And, and here I go. Um, the spirit is on this entire campus. You just feel safe you feel like you're in good hands, you know? That whatever the outcomes are gonna be, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, but you're in the right place. You're in the right place. I mean, for somebody like me that has seen the whole process and uh, where it came from and how it happened and how it became an idea and how it actually happened and now it's there, it's, uh, it's like, like seeing this feel-good movie that uh, I don't think you could even I don't think you could have written such a script, you know. <laughs>